I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. Do you flush with it more water and how to fix it? Back 2016, I published a Danko's Do you flush toilet installation video? Believing that having installed it, I would be saving water. When I recently installed a different brand, the Flute Master, I revisited the Danko design and discovered I have in fact actually wasted water for nearly three years using two and a half gallon per flash. For the full flash, I can't believe it, two and a half gallons. This video only applies to the dual flush made by Danco, since the Fluid Master Duo Flush has a different design and does not have the same problem. Please check out the video for the Fluid Master system through this link. In my 2016 video for Danco's Dual Flush, I followed the in exact instructions from the manufacturer. That video is still useful and can be accessed through the link because the installation is still correct. However, see that the Danco installation guide only has one diagram about adjusting the water without a strategy to measure and to compare the water used. See, the instruction only says when the green slide or the blue float is down, it's equal to less water draining. If you are like me and did not verify that in fact we are using less water, now I can show you my method so that you can double check your dual flush system and readjust it if necessary to save water. First, from the previous video about the Danco dual flush system, we learned that the quick flush drained 2.5 inches of water. If we measure it, the 2.5 inches of water is one gallon. For a quick flush, one gallon is fine. But let's experiment with the full flush. First, jam the refill valve. Set the green slider to the top position. Flush, and note that the water level goes down to three and an eighth inch. We mark three and an eighth inch level as minimum full, the minimum of the full flush. Set the green slider to the bottom position. Flush, the water level goes down to one and three quarters inch. We mark this as maximum full, the maximum of the full flush. Use the measuring cup to fill the tank from minimum full to the original water level, T1. We record the height increase for every cup we pour in. From the record, we can calculate that there are about 6.4 cups of water for each one inch. Since the original T1 is eight inches, if we set the green slider at the top, then the full flush at minimum is this formula, which amounts to 31.2 cups, which is almost two gallons. And the full flush at maximum ends up being 40 cups, which is 2.5 gallons. So it does not matter how I adjust the green slider, the full flush is between two gallons and 2.5 gallons. So our full flush uses too much water. I want to lower the full flush, but keep the quick flush the same. We can lower the T1 level by lowering the height of the float. There are two ways to adjust the heights of the float. One is a larger rough adjustment. You can remove this ring and adjust the height by turning the shank. The second is a smaller, fine adjustment. You adjust the height by turning this black stick with a thread at the bottom. This height ensures that the float will stop refilling at the level we marked originally. If the water is higher than our mark, then turn the black stick counterclockwise to decrease the water level. If the water is lower than our mark, then turn the black stick clockwise to increase the water level. Adjusting the water level T1 can reduce the water used for full flush. However, eventually it will create a problem for the quick flush. Since the quick flush's blue float must be at least one half inch below the water level, the lowest we can set T2 is six and five eighths. See, at this setting, the water level T2 is still a half inch higher. At this T2 value, the quick flush is one gallon and the lowest full flush is 1.4 gallons. If we lower T2 more, the quick flush will not function. 
What if we want to keep the quick flush the same, but lower full flush lower than 1.4 gallons? We can put in a bottle filled with water into the tank. See the T2 is raised one half inch higher to T3. So this wine bottle is not big enough, but if we put in a gallon milk jug, water T2 will pass T1 to overflow. Let's look at our marks. We only need to displace some water between the minimum full flush and the quick flush. We don't need to displace water below the minimum full flush or above the quick flush. So I cut a yogurt container to be as high as the minimum full mark. I cut a milk jug at the quick flush mark, leaving about a half gallon volume in the jug. See, the two parts are aligned to the marks. I put a small rock into the yogurt container, filled it with water, and placed it in the tank. I put a small rock into the milk jug, filled it with water, and placed it in the tank. See, now the water is at T3 level. Next, we jam the refill valve and flush. We need to use the measuring cup to fill the tank from the minimum full to water level T3. Because we are using containers of two different sizes, some sections now are six cups per inch, other sections are four cups per inch. Thus, we need to fill a table entry each time we add a cup into the tank. With this table, we can easily readjust both the quick flush and the full flush. For your reference, our quick flush is 0.9 gallons. A full flush is 1.2 gallons. If we want to flush more, we can keep pushing the button until the desired amount of water is released. If you flush this way, your duo flush system becomes a three or more flush system. Anyway, one lesson we learned this time is that you need to actually measure the water you're flushing down. You need to measure both the quick flush as well as the full flush. You may count your money carefully, but you also need to pay attention to your tank so that you are not flushing your money down the toilet. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.